Physicists and engineers are problem solvers. They look for patterns in the world and relate it to the knowledge they have of such patterns to solve problems. Now, you may have run into word problems in previous math and science courses, and whether you found these word problems difficult or easy, you will be a master problem solver by the time you finish this course. All future courses or jobs requiring problem solving skills will be much easier for you. So let's begin by discussing some problem solving strategies. Now the best way to get started on a problem is generally to organize what you know and what you don't know. Essentially, we're translating the wordy problem we see into something that's easier for us to work with. For example, if a car is going 100 kilometers per hour as it passes a bystander, then passes another bystander 20 seconds later and it's going 120 kilometers per hour, what is the car's average acceleration? First step, let's lay out what we know. Get organized. V0, also called VI in some cases, represents the original or initial velocity. It's the velocity at the start of our event. So let's clarify our event. When we say event, we're talking about a period of time over which a change has taken place. We could consider an event to be from when the car started originally to when it passed the first bystander, and this would certainly be a legitimate event. We could also consider an event to be going from the passing of the first bystander to when the car passed the second bystander. This is also a legitimate event. Considering that we don't know anything about when or where the car originally started, and we have lots of information about when it passed each bystander, let's consider our event to be the second option. That is, from when it passed the first bystander to when it passed the second. Therefore, our V0 would be 100 kilometers per hour, the velocity at the start of the event. While we're listing our variables, we might as well put them in our standard units. So a quick conversion here. And we'll list our V0 as 27.8 meters per second. And on to the next variable. How about VF, our final velocity? Since our event ends with the passing of the second bystander, VF must be 120 kilometers per hour. And again, We'll do a quick conversion to the standard units, getting 33.3 .3 meters per second, our final velocity. What else do we know? We see that the time of our event is 20 seconds, that is, the time from when it passed by the first bystander to when it passed the second. Other variables that might be of interest here would be D for displacement how far the car traveled during this event. Now we don't know the displacement at this point, so we'll just put a question mark here. Also, we should list the acceleration A, which we also don't know. By referring to our question, we in fact see that acceleration A is what we're looking for. At this point, we've done a solid job of starting our solution. That is, we got organized, and laid out what we know and what we don't know. It's a useful summary and will allow us to more easily move ahead in solving this problem. I'll expect you to include this step in each of your problems in this course, as it is a solid strategy helping you become a great problem solver.